thank you very much and welcome to Evolution Wrestling's Something Wicked 2, which is brought to you by the State Theater and Evolution Wrestling. Thank you for coming. This is our first show back at the Historical State Theater, and we are delighted to be here. Yay! Hey. Thank you. I appreciate that. that from the bottom of my heart, I do appreciate that. Uh, we've got six great matches for you tonight, so it's going to be fun. We have some announcements, like we always do. Uh, please, when the rushers don't come, come down to, to it, don't touch them, don't grab them. Uh, do not approach the ring. You know the rest. Uh, and we will be taking an intermission. The, uh, the concession stand out there is open and available throughout the show. And also, we have actually have some, uh, we're going to be wrapping off some gift baskets. And uh, we're also going to do a 50 50. We also have sponsors. I'd like to thank the following Walnut Creek Outdoors from Gas City, uh, Branch Harley Davidson. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Harley Davidson women from Branch here. Give them a Yay! Hey, I'm glad they're here. Uh, AutoZone from Gas City, Marion, Walnut. <laughs> O'Reilly's Auto Park from Marion. And Bambi's Creations. Read this how you want. From Lafayette, Indiana. They're our sponsors for this show, and we thank them all. Cool. Also, during, right after the admission, I'm going to have this young lady right here from Rams come up, and she's going to tell you all about the 75th anniversary, the summer of the 75th anniversary concert series at Brett, at Brett's. So, we'll be doing that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just like we start every show, I need everybody to please rise, please, for the national anthem.
Brad, big Ben Bloodsworth right here, baby. Brad. Oh. And then it's right, ladies and gentlemen, big Ben Bloodsworth on his way to the ring. And he definitely has his target acquired tonight as he goes one on one with the ring mechanic, Patrick O'Reilly, in front of this crowd here at Evolution Wrestling in Logansport, Indiana. You guys are in for a really fun night on Evolution Wrestling's first presentation on YouTube here on XC Wrestling 1, the channel of XCW Show. The home of this man right here, Patrick O'Reilly. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is the ring mechanic, Patrick O'Reilly, on his way to the ring here tonight to do battle with Big Ben Bloodsworth. And of course, these two have never met one-on-one -on -one in the ring. And here we are for the very first time here tonight on Evolution Wrestling. Patrick O'Reilly versus Big Ben Bloodsworth. Of course, if you want to talk about tonight's show, use hashtag Something Wicked 2, which is the name of tonight's Are event here Are by Evolution Wrestling. And here we go. Referee calls for the bell. This match is official. Bloodsworth, O'Reilly, one-on-one -on -one here at Evolution Wrestling. And there's the tie-up. Patrick O'Reilly getting shoved off by Bloodsworth, who... Trying to get the crowd hyped up, trying to get the crowd behind him here. And there's another tie-in. This time, Patrick O'Reilly forces oh, Bloodsworth in into the corner. But no. Big Ben now pushing Patrick O'Reilly to the other side of the ring. In the early goings of this match. And of course, we have a lot of great action lined up for you here tonight. Tommy the Man Merriman. Goes one on one with Eli Devlin for the Evolution Heavyweight Championship. Plus, in our main event tonight, Eric Draven goes one on one with OGW's Jared Krimke. And we have a lot before we get to that here. Big clothesline there from Big Ben. A second one and a third has Patrick O'Reilly rocked here. It goes for the cover. Two and a kick out by Patrick O'Reilly. Hard-hitting action from these two big colossal men to kick us off here tonight on something wicked, too. And Big Ben now has Patrick right where he wants him in the corner. And there's an Irish whip. Good Lord, you could you could you hear the ring? It sounded like the damn ring snap there. And Patrick goes for a suplex, but. Doesn't get it on the first one. Locks it in and drops him on the second. Patrick O'Reilly in control right now as he stumps away on the arm of Bloodsworth. And now the leg. Patrick O'Reilly finding a limb and targeting it and continues to beat down on Bloodsworth. Patrick O'Reilly now with a cross face. Cam... Bloodsworth find a way out of this or will he tap to the cross face by the ring mechanic? The referee checking on Bloodsworth as he tries to make it back to his feet. He does. There's a elbows to the midsection of Patrick O'Reilly. Goes for the kick. Drops it for the DDT. Bloodworth goes for the pin now. One, two, no. Patrick O'Reilly 
Kicking out at two. Bosworth hyping the crowd up once again, but he's taking his eye off the ball, which is Patrick O'Reilly, who comes in with a kick, a hard right shot, and he sets him up for the O'Reilly Factor. The O'Reilly Factor, can this be enough? One, wait, wait look at this. Patrick O'Reilly hits the O'Reilly Factor, and to put a stamp on it, he puts his feet on the second rope. And a win for Patrick O'Reilly here tonight on Evolution Wrestling, Something Wicked 2. That was kind of a questionable call. John! We just mark as I want. The crowd showing their displeasure for the ring mechanic as he officially knocks off Big Ben Bloodsworth here tonight on Evolution Wrestling. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we're going to see a match between Brogan O'Shea and Corey Lee. And we're going to hear from the Rambler, Brogan O'Shea, right now as he gets ready for his big matchup tonight against Let's Corey Lee. I mean, here we are. I mean, you're usually we're used to seeing Brogan O'Shea at Main State Arena, but we are here at Evolution Pro Wrestling here at Logan's Park. And now I found myself kind of facing a rare opportunity. Not only uh, do I get to face Corey Lee yet again in the square circle, but I get to do it in front of a crowd that's all behind me here tonight at Logan's Park at Evolution Wrestling. Make sure you stay tuned because this is an ass beating you'll never want to miss. Absolutely. And we just heard from Bergen O'Shea, and there he is on his way to the ring for his match. This is the second match of the evening. First of all, entering the ring at this time, Bergen O'Shea. Bergen O'Shea, 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 Bergen And there he is, the Rambler, Brogan O'Shea, and he is rowdy and ready to go as he goes one-on-one -on -one with one of his biggest foes in Corey Lee tonight. But they do it for the very first time here in Evolution Wrestling. Do not adjust your TV screens, ladies and gentlemen. That is, in fact, snow as Corey Lee makes his way to the ring. Wrestling's salvation himself. Some may even call him wrestling, a wrestling god, I should say. Um, but tonight, he is just the opponent of Brogan O'Shea, who was... Uh, just toying with Corey Lee here in the beginning of this match. To talk about this match, ladies and gentlemen, let's use the hashtag Lee versus O'Shea as we tie up here to kick off this match. Brogan O'Shea, the bigger of the two, forces Corey Lee into the corner. Nice job by the referee there to get them separated as Corey Lee, you heard, telling the referee to get him back. And now Corey Lee...
Corley wants no part of this. Bergen O'Shea on the chase now. Brogan goes after Corey, but it's a trick. Corey Lee stomping away at Brogan O'Shea. And this unique submission here by Corey Lee has Brogan O'Shea locked in. Brogan does a nice job countering, rolls Corey Lee over. What is he setting them up for here? Oh, nice job there from Brogan O'Shea. Reversing that on Corey Lee. And now has him in a version of a Texas Cloverleaf. But Corey Lee flips Brogan O'Shea out. O'Shea now. Trying to get his bearings, get back to his feet. Corey Lee already to his feet. And Corey Lee goes on the attack, hard right hands. And look at that, he just rocks Brogan O'Shea. A punch right to the face from Corey Lee. Corey now, scoop slam to Brogan O'Shea. Off the ropes in and a nice senton splash. Goes for the cover, two, kick out. No, no, there's a reversal, one, two, and no, Brogan O'Shea. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take another look at what just transpired here. A body slam from Corey Lee, followed by a big senton splash across the stomach as Corey Lee now back on the outside of the ring. And he's trying to argue with the referee, argue with the fans here. He wants Bergen O'Shea back before he gets back into the ring. And Corey now back into the ring. Berger goes to the center. Kick to the midsection. And now, is he going for that three leaf clover? The, the three amigos, as some like to call it. And he hooks him on that last one for official style pin. Goes for the cover and a two count. A very close near fall. For Brogan O'Shea is now both men trying to get back to their feet after that tired three suplexes and it is tiring trust me Corey Lee back into control German suplex to Brogan O'Shea. Corey now, what has he got setting him up for here? Looks like he's going for the sharpshooter, and he does. A little homage to Corey Lee's former friend and foe, Kurt Acid, who passed away a couple years ago. Brogan O'Shea gets to the bottom rope. Corey Lee, now what's he got in mind here? Oh my God, what a move! That's gotta be it! One, two, no! Brogan kicks out, take another look! Unbelievable! And this crowd is firmly behind Brogan O'Shea here tonight. Brogan O'Shea now, back to his feet. Working Corey Lee in that corner. Just hard shots to the gut. Irish whip into the corner. He comes out. Oh, there's a big bulldog from Brogan O'Shea. Can this be enough? No, he does not go for the cover. What's he got in mind here? Looks like he's going for the last call, but no. Corey Lee, Northern Lights suplex. And a double foot stomp down on the side of Corey Lee. What? Fast pace action. Corey Lee dropping the double feet down on the side of Brogan O'Shea. And now Corey goes to the top. What is Corey Lee got in mind here? He goes for the coup de grace. Oh my God, that's got to be it. No. 
Corey should have went for the cover there. This is going for the FML version two, but he doesn't get it. We're going to shake with a two count there. Sweeps the legs of Corey Lee to a near fall. And now Bergen O'Shea in desperation mode. What's he got in mind here? Irish whip to Corey Lee. Corey ducks the clothesline. And there's a starstruck knee. That may be it for Bergen O'Shea. That may be exactly what Corey Lee needed to put Bergen O'Shea away. It looks like he's going for yet another coup de grace. He goes for it. Brogan O'Shea gets out of the way. Brogan, kick to the midsection. Last call! Last call by Brogan. One, two, that's it! The last call by Brogan O'Shea puts Corey Lee away here tonight at Evolution Wrestling's Something Wicked 2. What an instant classic put on by these two here tonight but Brogan O'Shea is the victor here tonight well ladies and gentlemen coming up the Evolution Heavyweight Championship is on the line let's hear from Tommy the Man Merriman Here it is, October 12th, Logan Sport, Indiana, at the historic State Theater. And Eli, I don't, I don't see you anywhere. I'm here for my title that I rightfully never lost. Get cold feet. Is, you get all yellow on me. You're a coward. If you show up, if you show up, I'll see who the real champ is. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Visionary title holder. This is Alex Race. Alex Race. to turn around and bask in my, that's right, the camera's right here, loves me, loves me.
that, Dave. Sorry. That's why we're doing it up here. Come on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you a little history of these two gentlemen. I've known them since I started this evolution wrestling back in 2006. Now, these two have always bumped heads. Sometimes they were friends, sometimes they're not. But now, we have the... We bumped heads is an understatement, Tony. He and I have traveled all around Logansport, from the State Theater, to the Eagles Lodge, to whatever that little arcade Lonnie had down the street. Oh, God. I've seen way too much of this town, and way too much of these people. The reason why we're here. Why? It's time to close this chapter and burn it. No. 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 This contract is not only for a match, but it's for a last man standing match. The end all, be all for you and me, Jimmy Winters, W, whatever your name is today, Kick Cat Ref, I don't care. And I'll tell you what, Tony. What? I got some of this for you too. A little, a little taste bud for you. Let me see. If I win this match in December, you hand me the defunct but reinstated EVO Visionary Championship. And I put it right back on my waist where it belongs. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If he wins, if he wins, I'm done with one another. I will never come back. I hate you so much. Yeah, it states that. Jimmy, what do you think? If he, if when you beat him, he leaves my company. I know what I think. I think everybody here thinks I can beat him, right? Yeah. Then sign it. Signature to make it official. You know something? You know something? Let's make this fair. Whoever wins, whoever wins between you two, will become the new visionary champion. If you win, you got the belt. If you win, which you're not going to win, I'll make sure of that you'll get the belt. But the loser, but the loser. We'll leave the evolution crossing and they will come back. Oh. Oh. What do you say? What do you say? Is it worth it? No. Yeah. Last man yeah. standing out it ain't gonna matter. Buddy, you already signed it. Signed, still delivered. All we need is for the Tony Bar to sign it. I'm not done with this microphone yet. So you better be, you better be damn glad, Alex. That I'm not in that ring wrestling. <laughs> I might be old, but I can still take a beating. Uh, yes, you can. What do you want? What do you want, Jimmy? Yes or no? No! You know what? I got this. I got this. You and me. I'll put you down for 10 seconds. I'll put you down for longer than that. December 7th at Winter War 24. It will be Alex Rice versus Jimmy W for 
the newly commissioned visionary title. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. One last thing. You know what? I'm a man. I'm a man of honor. Let's shit down here. You know, I forgot to tell you, in this story, I'm the villain. Oh! Hey. I told you! Uh, All right, you were going to hand me on a silver platter that title. And I will be your new visionary champion! All right, get off the ring. You can't make me. Jimmy W can't make me. Anthony Barr can't make me leave. I'm leaving. I'm going home. But I'll see you all here December 7th for Jimmy W's last time. to the ring not alone here tonight and it makes you wonder if this puts him in an advantage over Eli Devlin as they have a rematch for the Evolution Heavyweight Championship and Tommy yeah, yeah that's kind of what I figured Tommy's not much for uh, high fives And Tommy Merriman is looking to regain the Evolution Heavyweight Championship. Of course, he is no stranger to the Evolution Heavyweight Championship as he is a former Evolution Heavyweight Champion. And he lost that championship to Eli Devlin last October in FWL. And now here tonight, a rematch for the Evolution Heavyweight Championship against Eli Devlin. Yes, 
Eli Devlin is ready to go. He is in a good mood and he is ready to defend his Evolution Heavyweight Championship. And he's brought a little help himself to the ring as he knows that Tommy is definitely not alone. We're making this an even game here tonight. The championship is on the line here at Something Wicked 2. That is major news, and J.J. Watkins is not a happy camper on the outside of the ring. Is now this match is anything goes. And you heard Tommy ask the referee if he had anything to do with this. Tommy Merriman is visibly upset as the rules change here tonight. about to get this match started. Anything goes, ladies and gentlemen. Evolution Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Use hashtag Evolution Championship for this match on social media as Eli Devlin firmly has this Logansport crowd on his side. And Tommy Merriman is not happy about the rules changing here tonight. Eli Devlin! Eli Devlin! Eli Devlin! And I have a feeling because of how heated this rivalry is, this match could get pretty messy. Eli Devlin brings Tommy Merriman to the corner for a huge chop to kick us off here. And oh my god! Hard shot of across the back of the head by Eli Devlin and nice suplex. Tommy Merriman is reeling in the early goings of this match. It looks like Eli could be setting up for that spine buster. But he doesn't. He goes for the headbutt. He wants to do a little damage to Tommy Merriman. Another club to the back of the head by Eli Devlin on the Tommy Merriman. And 
Anything goes in this match, as you can see, by Eli driving Tommy's face across that top rope. And now, hard punches to the spine. Now Eli. Oh my God! Did you hear that shot? Across the face of Tommy Merriman. In trouble on the outside. And that's the equalizer on the outside that you have to watch for. Cold hearted JJ Watkins. As Eli Devlin just goes to town on Tommy Merriman with a crutch here. Eli. What's he doing? Size and Tommy. Oh my God! Thank God Tommy already has kids. He may not have any more after that. Merriman now. Oh, hard kick. Miss. Tommy Merriman firing back and sends Devlin to the outside. And that's where J.J. Watkins is. And he holds down Eli. As Tommy has that cookie sheet. Unfortunately, that's illegal, Ralph. Is anything Tommy now going to work. That means submission. They can hold for a Oh, boy. Tommy is in no man's land right here. These gentlemen will fight. Oh! A kendo stick across the back of Eli Devlin. Oh! The lower back taking punishment from that kendo stick. Is Tommy the man Merriman now? Got it across the throat. Oh my God! You can see that kendo stick just bend as it smashed Eli Devlin in the throat. Tommy now bringing in the sign. He got the high water sign right. He just went down the floor to get that. And the referee is just helpless in this. As there is no disqualifications, as Tommy just starts throwing in crutches and chairs and signs. And Remember now. Slowly bringing Eli Devlin back to his feet. Drops an elbow across the back of the neck. Tommy now slides Eli Devlin back into the ring. What does Tommy Merriman have to do to put Eli down tonight and become the Evolution Heavyweight Champion for the second time in his career? And now Tommy's got... That sign. The chair draped over. Can you just hear that sound? Goes for the cover one and a one count. And Tommy is upset, rightfully so. Both men trying to get back to their feet now. Eli's got the chair across the face of Tommy Merriman. That was relentless. Uh, he has the kendo stick now right to the rib cage of Tommy the Man Merriman and he's just going to town with that kendo stick. This crowd is firmly behind Eli Devlin as Tommy Merriman rolls to the outside to create some distance and Tommy is hurting. And sign down across the back of Tommy Merriman. What a crazy night this has been already, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Cookie sheet across the face. No, Tommy, that's that's insane there. 
Not a shovel! What does Tommy have in mind? As he got out the shovel. And now he's setting the sign up on the bottom rope. Eli rolls to the outside. Now creating distance between himself and Tommy Merriman. Tommy trying to bring Eli back in. He's got that shovel. Tommy caught it. Oh, not that time. A shovel to the face. Look at this. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Tommy Merriman just took a shovel to the face, ladies and gentlemen. Eli now pulls Tommy back to his feet. And Iris whips Tommy Merriman into that sign. And look at the look at the big crease in that sign. One, two, no. Merriman kicks out at two. After nearly going completely through a metal sign. And now Eli, he's going to try to end Tommy Merriman's career. He's got Tommy's foot trapped in that chair. But luckily, Tommy was able to get to the kendo stick and get out of what could have been career ending if Eli could have done what he was going to do to Tommy Merriman. Merriman now sets the chair up in between the top and middle rope. And Tommy has some devious things on the mind. Merriman bringing Devlin back to his feet. He's going to send him through those chairs. And it's reversed. Tommy spawning into the chair. Check this out one more time in our replay. Tommy smashing that chair. His spine just hit the corner of that that chair that was draping the turnbuckles. And this match continues, ladies and gentlemen. Tommy's on Dream Street. Eli is worn out. And this war is all for the Evolution Heavyweight Championship. And there's a hard... Close line in the corner from Devlin. Devlin going for one more. Misses that time. Merriman now spins him around. Oh. Hard right shot followed by a chop. Another forearm shot. Merriman now on the opposite side. What's he got in mind here? Going for the spear. No. Eli moved out of the way, shoulder first into the to the post, and now here we go. And there's JJ, damn it. Oh my god, JJ. Spear from Tommy Merriman, and that's gotta be it. Two. Damn it, not like this. We have a new Evolution Heavyweight Champion and his name is Tommy the Man Merriman. And largely in part thanks to his goons on the outside of the ring. And there it is ladies and gentlemen. It is official. Tommy the Man Merriman has regained the Evolution Heavyweight Championship here tonight as something wicked too. What an unbelievable championship match we have just witnessed, ladies and gentlemen. 
And this rivalry may continue after this. This is my belt, it's rightfully mine. It was already mine, he didn't even know it. That's why they call him the man. And with Winter War 24 coming up in just a couple of months, you'd have to think that Eli will want some revenge on Tommy Merriman and company. Another year on this baby, huh? What do you say? piece of trash. I told you and I told everybody in this audience, you cannot beat me by yourself. I'm going to tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. Bar. You want to bring friends into it? You want to bring people into it? December 7th. You, the 32 pieces of trash you have with you, yeah. and me, and whoever I decide to be with me, yeah. right here, December 7th. You don't think you want to see that? Yeah. I don't think they heard you next door. You don't want to see that? Yeah. I came and got what I wanted. You're second to none. I am the face of this company. Rightfully. You're the face of this company. You're the face of this company. Okay, so, will the face of this company call out when you get trash? No. When he told you when he comes out here? I don't do that. Not take a high five from a kid? No. I do. That's why I'm the face of this business. Like I said, Evolution Heavyweight Champion. What a major announcement we will have. A tag team match coming up. I say, why don't I tag up with Brother Blaze? Yeah, there you go, yeah. That's right, Lady Nightingale. He don't like you either. But me, Johnny Blaze, versus Tommy the Man Merriman and JJ Kelty, December 7th. Like I said once, I'll say it again. Your ass will be grass, son. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Yeah. It sounds like tag team action. Johnny Blaze teaming up with Eli Devlin to take on the Evolution Heavyweight Champion Tommy the Man Merriman and cold-hearted J.J. Watkins. You know, today is the day. Goldhearted, I'm coming for you today. In that ring, that's where it all settles down to, man. You talking all that, I ain't putting up with that. You know, I'm coming for that match today. Whether you're there or not, you better be ready for me. Brother, I don't care what you say, man. I'm coming for that. Heavyweight Champion Tommy Merriman all making their way back to the ring here tonight for Evolution Wrestling as JJ 
will be teaming up with a mystery partner to go one, I'm sorry, two on one against the son of Eli Devlin, White Devlin here tonight at Evolution Wrestling's Something Wicked 2. Devlin, we heard words from him before this matchup, and he is fired up and he is ready to do everything that he can to take down JJ Watkins here tonight as something wicked, too. But the odds are stacked against him as JJ is supposed to have a tag team partner making this a two on one handicap match against Wyatt here tonight. And where is this partner? What in the hell is this? It looks as if JJ's partner is here. In this handicap match. Watch it, camera guy. Maybe official. In just a moment. And there it is. Referee calls for the bell. And the handicap match is official here. We're starting off with Gigi Watkins and White Devil. And there's the test of strength. And Devlin looks to, uh, of course, JJ Kelty with a kick to the midsection when when White started to get a little more strength on JJ. He turned it around. Irish looked to the corner and a knee by JJ. And now Watkins just knee and forearm smashes in the corner as he is just demolishing the rookie right now. And there's a tag. And an Irish whip. Oh my God. And a huge splash in the corner. Devlin is just being demolished here. How's that for a very first outing, ladies and gentlemen? Of course, to talk about tonight's show, use the hashtag SomethingWicked2. And still to come here tonight, we have Big Whiskey, OVW's own Jared Kripke in the main event going one-on-one -on -one with Indiana local legend 
a man who's been wrestling 20 plus years in Eric Draven. Still to come in our main event here tonight at Evolution Wrestling Something Wicked 2. Come on, buddy. And nice leg sweep there. Wyatt down on the mat from the test of strength. And there's the champion Tommy Merriman on the outside. Flip. Shoulder tackle, no one goes down. Uno mas. Irish whip of his own, another shoulder tackle, no one goes down again. We're in a feeling out process here. As JJ wants to get back into the front. And JJ shakes his hand only to pull him in and forearm to the face in a clothesline. Takes down White Devil. And JJ definitely the most vicious in this match. And a DDT just draws Wyatt straight head first into the canvas. And things are not looking good for Devlin. Watkins has him up. What's he got in mind here? TKO! The TKO! And now Tommy Merriman is on the apron. It doesn't matter what you think. You need to get down. What do you mean it doesn't matter what I think? You're not in this. Who are you talking to? Arguing with the ref. There's, wait, there's Eli Devlin! Spot Buster! And the referee didn't see any of it. Goes for the cover here. Two. Look at this. Wyatt Devlin with a huge win. Because he defeated J.J. Watkins here with a little help from Eli Devlin. A little revenge for Eli as we head in. To win a World 24 on December 7th. What a controversial match that was. I'm taking your ass to town, boy. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, Wyatt Devlin is your winner here tonight. And we are about to get words from the man who is in our main event here tonight for Evolution Wrestling Something Wicked 2. None other than Big Whiskey, Jared Kripke. Let's hear from him right after this. Jared Kripke is back here with Evolution Wrestling. Logan Sport Indiana will never be the same. Your visionary champion is also back. So not only has been Big Whiskey been on OVW for the last few years, I've been on Netflix, I've been in movies soon. Not only will it be Evolution Wrestling on the marquee, it will be as seen on Netflix, as seen on theaters, Big Whiskey, Jared Kripke. But tonight, I'm gonna prove that I'm the best in the Midwest. Eric Draven, you and I have been fighting for the top, top shelf at the AIWF. Tonight, I'm showing who is the top shelf talent. 
Take, you can take your shot at Big Whiskey, brother. But I'm the one who's coming out on top. He's Evolution Wrestling's Excalibur! Excalibur is hyped up and ready to go here, ladies and gentlemen, in our semi-main event for Evolution Wrestling, Something Wicked 2. And uh, Excalibur has a huge feat ahead of him here tonight. But can he stand tall at the end of this matchup with a win? Only time will tell here on Evolution Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, it's an honor to have him with the company. He is the AIWF. He is one half of the their tag team champions. I need you all to Charlie T. And here comes Charlie Keys, and he looks like he is all business here tonight. Excalibur might have his work cut out for him. And here we go, right off the bat, Charlie Keys going to work on Excalibur. Both men a ball of fire to kick it off here. Excalibur with some forearm shots to the side of the face and a huge kick. A roundhouse kick by Excalibur. Charlie Keys is dazed and it sends him to the outside. Excalibur now goes to the outside. Charlie Keys back in. And there's a tie up. Excalibur, nice job. Ground wrestling. Goes for the headlock here. Has Charlie Keys wherever it wants him, but maybe not. There's a pin. Charlie Keys would shift the momentum. And now it's a gator roll. Something you don't see too often. And these men might roll out of the ring. Excalibur does. Keys now. Standing tall in the ring. Excalibur takes a breath here. Excalibur back into the ring. Excalibur goes for a kick. Keys has it scouted. Goes for the clothesline. Excalibur had that scouted and a forearm shot to the face. by Excalibur, a huge standing yeah. moonsault. Goes for the cover, two, kick out. Let's see this moonsault again. Unreal athleticism by Excalibur. That standing moonsault on Charlie Keys here. Another collar and elbow. This time Keys. Goes to work on Excalibur. Keys has Excalibur right where he wants him in the corner. As he drapes him across that top rope. And he has till the count of five. And referee AJ trying everything he can to get him off there. Oh! As Charlie Keys hits the middle ropes. 
That couldn't have been a comfortable landing. Nice job there by Excalibur with the neck breaker. Excalibur now going up top. What does he have in mind? Charlie Keys though trips up uh, trips up Excalibur. Hasn't crouched on the top rope. What? Now Keys is going up top. What are they doing here? Setting him up for a belly to belly. Oh, that belly to belly off the top. Goes for the cover. One, two, no, he reverses two. Check this out. Oh. There's no good landing for that. Charlie Key's back in control. And drops him down across his knee there with a brain buster. And that's it. Charlie Keys picks up the win here over Excalibur at Something Wicked 2. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got one more match. We have got your main event coming up as Jared Kripke goes one on one with Eric Draven in our main event in just a few moments. But ladies and gentlemen, Evolution Wrestling is being presented here tonight on XC Wrestling 1, the home of XCW Shelbyville. And of course, we've seen some XCW stars here tonight. Tommy Merriman, Patrick O'Reilly, Corey Lee, Bergen O'Shea. Let's find out where you can get their merch. I could do this with my eyes closed. Lock me up in the mail. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is Eric Draven, a man who started his career all the way back in 1992. And tonight, he is here to take on OVW's own big whiskey, Jared Kripke, one-on-one -on -one in our Evolution Wrestling main event. And of course, both of these men are from Indiana area and they are no strangers to each other and it should be an interesting match here tonight in our Ladies main and event. And the party has been here before. Some of you might remember him. He's now with OVW Wrestling, Big Whiskey, Jared Kripke. This crowd is behind Jared Kripke here tonight. Jared, of course, from Ohio Valley Wrestling. He's been featured on Netflix as part of Wrestlers. And now tonight he is in our main event here at Evolution Wrestling. And I'm excited 
to get to see Jared Kripke in action here tonight. Woo! What up, guys? How you doing? And Kripke may be loaded before this match even begins. You know, I'm not even going to use the microphone. I'm loud enough, aren't I? All right, shush. I'm loud enough when he's not talking, at least. But anyway. I just want to thank you all for coming in for Evolution Wrestling! Yeah. Oh, come on, won't you suck up a little bit? Yeah, I don't care about you. They just want to see me want you to take that out. Thank you, guys. How about this? I got a treat for you all. This man has been wrestling longer than I have been alive. This man has been there, done it. This man is still doing it. 13 championships by the count, correct? Currently, I'm getting ready to have 14. Uh, how about this, guys? You want to see another title match? And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it's official. And we're using hashtag Kripke versus Draven for social media here. As these guys tie up in the corner in our highly anticipated main event. Both men circle in the ring, feeling each other out in the early goings of this matchup. Elise, I'll prove it to you, brother. Collar and elbow. Draven sends Kripke to the ropes first. And these guys jockeying for position here. Kripke goes up top. Kripke is just hammering away at Eric Draven. Draven tries to get out of it. Kripke right back on top of him. Smart by Kripke to stay on top of Draven here. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's another tie up here. Draven once again sending Kripke to the corner. Goes for the punch. Kripke gets out. Hard right shots from Kripke in the corner. Irish whip from Kripke. Sends Draven to the corner. Big splash. And we heard from Jared Kripke. Jared Kripke earlier tonight and he was excited to return to Logansport, Indiana here at Evolution Wrestling and he is fired up as he fires those hard right shots he gets out of it backstabber backstabber by Kripke Draven feeling the effects of that close line sends the veteran down elbow and Kripke is rolling right now with a huge drop kick. Draven doesn't even know where he is at this moment. And once again, Jared to the top with those hard right hands. And this crowd is firmly behind Kripke, but you see Draven drop his foot out there and sends Jared Kripke to the outside. Draven now follows Kripke to the outside. And the referee's letting a lot of things go right now between these two. Oh, and there's a knee to the midsection. Draven just wants to punish Jared Kripke. Here. Definitely don't throw him against the post. Oh, hard left hand. To the oh no! Oh, Draven missed and hit the ring post, and that gives an opening to Jared Kripke, who's taking him over to the bar section. Oh, and slamming his face down into the bar. And Big Whiskey might have to wait to get his drink until after the match. Kicks from Jared, just rocking Eric Draven. Oh, come on, ref, what the hell? Draven just poked him straight in the eye, and things are getting out of hand now. The referee needs to get these guys back into the ring. These guys are up on the stage area here. Hard right hand by Kripke blocking Eric Draven's first shot. And he's just got him rocked here. Kripke comes in, going for the German on the stage. Oh, come on. Once again, a dirty tactic by Eric Draven. And now he's got that belt. And the, the referee could have counted these men out or called for a disqualification. He is letting a lot go. He's letting a lot slide. Oh! A belt across the stomach area. And now across the back. Draven is just trying to punish Jared Kripke here. This is this is turning into a brawl. Draven with a smile on his face. He is loving this. He throws Jared back into the ring. What devious thing does Eric Draven have in his cryptic mind?
Eric Draven is a corrupted man for sure. And Jared trying to fight back here. But once again, Draven, hard right shot rocks Jared Kripke. Irish whip off the ropes. And a drop kick of his own. And that just may have turned Jared Kripke completely inside out. And now, Jared is fighting from behind. What is he going to do to get back into this match? As Draven continues to punish him. Irish whip chest first into the turnbuckle. But now, Jared might have found his opening. Russian leg sweep into the corner. Kripke is trying to rally back. Knees to the back, driving Draven into the corner. And there's the 619. Is this a, this is this is the opening that Kripke needed. Can he rally back? Can he find a way to defeat Eric Draven? Kripke goes up top. Looking for the elbow drop. Could he hit it? And he does. Driving the elbow, the point of the elbow, into the chest of Eric Draven. And it's not enough. Two count. Draven kicks out at two. What a night this has been, ladies and gentlemen. Kripke may be hurt. Once again goes to the corner for the punches. And that last shot for good measure. Can Kripke put him away here? He's wasting a lot of time. And yeah, that unfortunately cost him. Oh, nice job, a photo bomb from Eric Draven. One, two, no! How in the hell did he kick out? The photo bomb. After Kripke took too long on the top rope, Eric Draven found a way to get back into this. And that may be all she wrote for Kripke. Although Draven kind of doing the same thing here. He's, he's letting Jared get back to his feet, and that may be a mistake. Ducks the clothesline. No one's home. Both men exhausted here. bottle that canteen right across the face and the referee never seen it now he's seen it now he just handed it off to the ref and a big splash one two and he did it Kripke knocks off Draven here tonight And he got lucky, ladies and gentlemen. This was a back and forth match. Great job by both men. Great job by all the crew here tonight at Evolution Wrestling. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, the next time you will see Evolution Wrestling in two months, December 7th. Right. For Winter War, talent. a special Julie thanks Jam. to OVW and XCW. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.